Welcome to the Great Show of Greyhounds. My name is Brian. This episode finds Heather and I at the Bakkenstead Farm, where inside the whelping barn, we're gonna get to see all of the puppies. Tucked away in this valley is the Bakkenstead Farm, where they raise all of their greyhound puppies to become racing athletes. I must say, it really is an impressive sight to see all of these runs full of young greys as we make our way down the long driveway towards the whelping barn. Though I am curious where that name is derived from. To whelp is a verb meaning to give birth. It is associated with various different carnivores, but is most commonly used with dogs. So that's where the name whelping barn comes from. It's also called a broody barn because inside are all the female greyhounds who are bred to have puppies. Those moms are referred to as broodies. Also broods, brood mamas, and brood matrons if you want to get fancy. But anyway, let's go inside. It's feeding time. The broodies and puppies are all very hungry, so it's a fairly large serving of raw meat mixed with dry kibble. These particular pups are big enough to eat solid food, but they are obviously still nursing from their mother. Now these puppies over here are fairly new, so they are completely dependent on their mother's milk. She has them here in a whelping box for containment purposes, as the puppies are too small to be able to climb out of it. The whelping box is temporary, and eventually they will all be moved to one of the regular kennels when the puppies get a little bit bigger. I know she looks all smiley and happy, but this is actually a grimace. Her puppies are very young, and this is making her nervous because we're not staff. She doesn't know who Heather and I are, and she doesn't know if she can trust us. But she does like the attention. The other broodies are more trusting of us because their puppies are older and certainly more mobile, which is evident by how they climb out every time that the door is opened. Now that everyone has finished eating, the broodies will be put back into their muzzles, for safety reasons. Just like adult greyhounds, these puppies have tissue paper-like skin, so the breeders don't want any accidents if a broody needs to correct any behavior. Speaking of biting, these land sharks will chew on anything that is available and they will bite down with tiny needle teeth. It is the cutest pain ever. These puppies will stay with their mothers for at least 12 weeks. At that point, some broods are ready to be done. But some really enjoy playing with their pups and will stay with them for a while after weaning. The breeders are able to judge a brood's interest in remaining with her litter and will let her do so for as long as she wants. Generally between three and six months of age, the puppies are moved outside where their endless energy is exercised in loose sand. Sand is more challenging to gain traction on and running on it will develop greater muscle tone. It's the same reason why people go jogging on the beach. In this little pen, these puppies will play with each other all day long. And from that playing, they will begin to learn social skills from each other. From six months to a year old, the puppies will be living in the long runs that paralleled the driveway. Here they will begin to develop their competitive spirit and will challenge each other to races along the fence line. The breeders and trainers will encourage this behavior by driving up and down the fence line, providing the young greys something to chase. Even though they look to be full grown, they are still very much puppies at heart and they do a lot of silly things. For example, this one always does these spin moves whenever anyone drives by. During their whole first year, these puppies will have remained with their litter mates for the purposes of socialization. This is a major factor into why greyhounds have such a calm demeanor. These dogs will generally not grow up to be territorial because they are accustomed to living together as a pack. The trainers will continue to work with these dogs during their second year of life to focus their competitive nature. Some of this work will involve practicing on the racetrack early in the morning, before the official races begin for the day. These practice races are referred to as morning schooling, which I have previously done a video on and I can link to that at the end of this episode. I feel it is important to point out that this place is not a puppy mill. The broodies here are not locked up in tiny cages, turning out puppies day in and day out. Their litters are spaced out to provide ample recovery time. Greyhounds are purpose-bred with careful planning for the health and well-being of the dogs.
With the spring thaw, our backyard turns into a swamp. So in the next episode of The Great Show, I'm going to be reviewing the paw plunger and its effectiveness in cleaning up muddy dog feet. A link to that episode, as well as the previous, can be found over here. Next to that, I'm going to link to that video about morning schooling that I mentioned earlier. And over here in the corner is a link to subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can also watch any other video at youtube.com slash greatshow, and you can follow us on social media at greatshow. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.